do we know of this woman? Very little. This place is heavily guarded. Adventurer of sorts. The thing called her ahead. Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. I need your eyes, my friend. Show me what lies ahead. Enter this sanctuary. This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you! We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. 
friar. Our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your god so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key and depart with your strange friend. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks. Perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies? Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth. One of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade the stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee, O oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering gods let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eivor. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods. 
as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You pray to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loves you? For preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on Earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Sacklus, or Yelpenhoff, the demiurge of many names. A lesser god. Sacklus and his kind were wise in the time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fuge. And I have not yet reached its end. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Ransacked from floor to roof. Bassam, stand guard outside. This was Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I asked Paul to hide it well. But I do not know where. Oh, dear God. Is this him, your acolyte, Paul? My dearest. as one with the true God, in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes! You slowed us down, and I missed my chance! Patience, brother. We will find this stone, wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade. That stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We can Giedrich our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! Ah! No! Cut them down! Ah! Leave that alive! Avon, are you mad? You doing please. Ah! We had our chance! Me. 
Minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. That's one view, Bessem. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Giedrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along? Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we moved as one. As family. As kin. I have always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You fought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Giedrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda, south of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. I ain't in the business of helping you. Dear man, would you live under Edwin's... Yes, Fulke. That is where you will be, Edwin. It's for the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new author. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up. Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wane eye. Steered and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, innit? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold, wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake coils. Look, he yowls. Poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! 
How does it end? They all die. We can use these oil jars to surprise the soldiers. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. What was that? Prepare yourself! The soldiers are close! That overhanging branch is a good vantage for a first strike. Trapped now. That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods, or could he be a god himself? I don't know. I want to deny it, but I... 
I... I've seen things in my life. Visions. Prophecies. It's difficult to explain. Heed your visions. Always. You may have been touched by true knowledge. Sigurd is only a man. The son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god. In ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Giedrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you.